What's up everybody? Happy Friday. Well, I figured I'd make this into a video. I've got to do some testing to see if my switches are bad or not. So I figured I'd just go ahead and do this for you. I really recommend you get an 11 in 1 screwdriver, okay? These things are awesome because you can flip them around. They've got 11 different drivers in one screwdriver and they really come in handy when you're working on school buses. The other thing I'm going to need and you'll need if you end up doing this is your power tester. You either hook this to the negative and touch the positive or you hook this to the positive and touch this side to the negative and this will light up and let you know if you've got a complete circuit. But in the meantime, my marker lights aren't working. So I figured I'd take this out. So I already took the screws out. Now there's no power to this whole console until you turn the key, okay? And I don't recommend you do this with power on until you have the console removed. So I figured I'd just go ahead and get it all prepped. Usually what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pull it up and out very slightly so that you don't end up touching any wires or yanking any wires loose or anything like that. These things are a little bit of a pain to get out, but once you get the wires unsnagged, they pretty much come right out just like that, okay? Now the thing about this is you are dealing with your whole power box on the side, all your fuses and everything and all your connections. So you don't really want to rest this down. And I'll go ahead and flip the camera so that you can see what I'm dealing with right here. And it'll give you a really good idea of exactly what I'm doing. So I'll bring you over here real quick. You can see the kind of stuff I have to deal with, okay? Now, the problem that I'm having is my marker lights aren't working, so I think one of the switches is bad. So I've got to go ahead and turn the power on and test this switch. So I'll go ahead and reset the camera so that I don't have to hold it. And you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing, okay? Now these are pull toggles. So they're little buttons that pull out. And basically what I'm trying to do is make sure I got power to it. And then after I got power to it, I can check to see if there's power coming out of it. And if there's power coming out of it, I got a problem somewhere else. But if not, I know that I can replace the switch. So in the meantime, let me get this camera reset and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so like I said, they are pull toggles, okay? So they're little buttons. You pull them out, that turns them on. You push them back in, it turns it off, okay? So basically what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go ahead and take this side and I have to attach it to a ground on my tester. So considering the bus is all steel, I could basically ground anywhere I want and I'll have a sufficient ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a really good spot. Sometimes they're easy to find a good spot, sometimes it's not. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right up here to the main body, right on my window ledge. And then what I always like to advise is that you hold this up. Okay, don't, don't rest this down. Because as you can see right down in here, I'll tilt the camera down just a little bit farther. Right down in here at these first set of switches, you see how all these terminals are exposed right here? You'll touch the metal and you don't want to do that because you don't want to short anything out, okay? So with a lot of school buses, the keys work both ways. You can either turn it on and get full power to turn the vehicle on or you can turn it the opposite way and it'll just basically turn on the battery and it'll give you what you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the key one way now that I got power and I'm gonna check my one terminal. Okay, I got power out of the terminal. You can see the light lighting up right there. Pull it off, the light went off. So now I'm gonna pull the toggle out and test the other side. Okay, so I don't have any power coming out of the other side. As you can see, the light's not lighting up, but if I touch this side, the light lights up, see? So that tells me right off the bat, I have a bad toggle switch. So now I just need to replace the toggle switch. Now for the sake of safety, always make sure you turn your key back off, okay? So now it's one of those things. You can check by looking in your mirrors, I'll tilt the camera back up. 
okay now the thing is is that you can check your mirrors and you can hotline this so what you would do is you would turn the power back on and you would touch both terminals together and see if it lights up your outer marker ring if it does perfect you're good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now but I'm gonna do it the easier way okay now these toggle switches do not have voltage regulators in them at all whatsoever it's all a 12 volt system so I can literally pull the one terminal off touch it to the terminal that has power and my light should light up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you how I'm gonna do that real quick so basically my green wire right here right there happens to be my power out okay so now I'm gonna rest this system on my knee just like that I'm gonna hold it with my opposite hand I'm gonna turn my key on one more time and test my lights meanwhile I'm looking in the rearview mirror at my marker lights up on the roof Okay, perfect, they turned on. So that means I have a bad toggle switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this back together for now until I can get a new toggle. Make sure that you slide them on there and they slide on and they crimp really well. If you have to, you can pull the screws and loosen these up. But I just figured I'd show you that. Now when it comes to putting this system back in, in case you're wondering I'll tilt the camera back down real quick I know it's kind of hard to see because of the Sun let me see if I can uh... yeah that helped a little bit but I'm gonna tilt the camera back down you can see how the wiring goes in now basically what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to lift like this and set it back in nice and gently just like that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get this toggle replaced I'll probably do a video on it really not sure I don't have the toggle yet but I figured I'd make this just to help you guys out in case you do have to test your switches all right so you guys take care let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below subscribe to the channel if you're interested like the video if you liked anything about it and share it with a friend don't forget your notification bell I'll see you guys next time